Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the number of laser beams in a bank problem from Lead Code. This is a Lead Code medium and the number for this is 2125. So in the given question, uh, there is a scenario of a bank uh, connected with a security system. So anti-theft security devices are activated inside the banks and we are given with a zero index binary string representing the floor plan of the work. So like row one is the zeroth floor and then the row row the second row will be the sec first floor and the third row will be the second floor so on this manner so let's see and uh, this is a m cross n matrix as i told you and bank of i represent ith row and zero and it contains zero and one because it's a binary string now zero tells that the cell is empty while one tells that the cell has a security device. Now there is one laser beam between any two security devices if both the conditions are met. Like two devices are located in different rows and uh, for each row i where row r1 is less than i less than r2. So suppose we have uh, this as row 0, row 1, row 2 and row 3. So if the rows are different, so row 0 and row 2, there are two different rows. So first condition uh, met and R1 is less than I less than R2. So R0, R2, R3. So here R1 in this case is R0 and R2 in this case is R, R3, row 3. So that means we can install the laser beams in between these devices. Now how we are going to do? So there is a simple formula for this that will make the answer very simple for you. So let's see through an example. Let's take this example, sample example 1. So we have taken the sample example 1. Now what we are going to do, we are going to store a previous number of uh, security devices and the current number of security devices. And we are going to store the answer in the total, total variable say, let's say. So when we are on the row 0, what is the total? The total is 0. The current number of security devices is 1, 2, 3. Yes, 1, 2. And this is the third one. And what are the previous devices? So there is no previous row, so the previous number of devices becomes 0. So the formula is for each row, we will have to multiply the previous row count with the current row count and add the total to it. So for the row 0, total plus current row that is 3 into previous row that is 0. So 0 plus 3 into 0 that is 0, still 0. Then for row 1, there are no security devices. So current becomes 0. So still the total is 0. Now when you go to the third row, when you go to the third row, the current becomes 2. The previous is 3. Because the previous no was not updated in this case. Because there were not security devices. So this were the previous. So now the f uh, according to the formula. The total becomes total plus current into previous. That is total equal to 0 plus 2 into 3. That is 6. So the total becomes 6 till this row. And that is correct. We have 6 beams. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is correct. Now the previous will become the current that is previous now becomes 2 and when we go, go to the row 4 what we see the current is 1 yes the current is 1 so what will be the total now so total will be total plus current into previous so total is 6 currently total is currently 6 yes the total was 6 till the previous row and now it becomes 6 plus current into previous current is 1 previous is 2 so it becomes 6 plus 1 into 2 that is 8 and 8 is our final answer yes, you see yes 8 is the final answer so let's come to the code section for this but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel so Let's start with the coding. So we will need a previous row count equal to 0, initialized with 0, and 
then total initialize with zero also. Now we have to iterate in the string given. So bank. And now we have to count the int current row count equal to let's say we can have a function here that will give us the count of number of ones okay we'll define the function later and in the current row count is equal equal to zero we have to do nothing but simply continue Otherwise, total will be total plus current row count into previous row count. No previous row count equal to current row because we need to update the previous row count so we have updated that now it's time to return the result total but wait we have still not defined the calculate function so this will be private private int and see that will stay the string s yes. let's say and it will have a counter count and will traverse using s dot that Dot, uh, two. I think it is two pair array. Yes, two pair array. It is and count equal to count plus c minus zero. So whenever it will be a one, so one will be added. Whenever it is a zero, a zero is added. So that will give us the count of number of ones in each row. Let's see if it runs. Passes for the sample test cases. Let's run for the hidden test cases as well. So the hidden test cases are also passed with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity. The time complexity for this solution is O of M cross N. Uh, by seeing this you can uh, only see O of N but when you carefully observe we are also iterating for each row counting the number of ones so that's why it comes from here it comes M cross N so this is the time complexity and the space complexity is O of N because we are not using any extra space for this and uh, you can watch the C++, Python and JavaScript solutions by going into the solution panel and check this solution. This is my solution. You can see the intuition, the approach, the complexity, the Java code, C++, Python, JavaScript. And yes, do remember to upvote. I hope you understood the logic. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day. And do like this, like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the channel. Thank you.